Hi everyone, Kimmy Beato here. I decided I'm going to do something different for a video today. Right. Um, because as someone that's been stalked since 2011, I want to share my knowledge with all of you. All right. And I don't know, like, after so long, I seem to become, like, very curious about why people do it and you know stuff like that what drives them and what to watch out for and all that stuff so i am going to show you all the films i have seen that will help you see what it's like and i think it it's probably even good for stalkers to watch because they'll understand themselves more and they'll see how not right it is um right so let's get down to it shall we i'm gonna try and find all the ones i've seen i don't think i've seen i've seen that one um so give that a watch everyone's got i've seen that one give that a watch i've seen that one that one's a little bit weird like oh all of them are weird but that one's a bit different. I wouldn't say that's a stalker film, though. It's a good film. Um, let's have a look. Uh, I've seen that. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of a stalker film. That. It's funny, though. And it's Jim Carrey. I mean, come on. Um, I've seen that. It was a bit weird. It was one of them confusing ones. Um it didn't really make much sense uh let's have a look oh wait oh i've seen that one that is julia roberts in it or is it julia andrews i get mixed up with their names but anyway it's one of them um it's a good film and it's about I'm not going to tell you actually because I don't want to spoil it but it's a good film and it is very relatable to toxic relationships um I've seen that one that one's a bit weird as well um but it does give you an idea of what it can be like um I've seen that one and it's got one of my favorite actresses in Catherine I don't know how to print out <coughs> how to pronounce her name it's either Catherine Hegel or Catherine Heigl um, and that is a pretty strange one as well um, let me look oh, it's, not, it's none of them ones have I seen that one? I can't remember now I think everyone's seen that film I can't quite remember it right now. Um, oh, I remember that one. I think. Yeah, it, it, that one's creepy as well. You should give that a go. Obviously, it's got um, the actress of Hit Girl in Kick Ass and also a. And what was it called? What was the film called? It's got um a song in it. Um, what is it? Say something or I'm giving up on you. It's it's got that song in that film. Is it called Stay? I think it might be that one. That one's weird as well, but it's definitely something you should watch um i am thinking of one and i can't remember what it's called oh that's a good film i've seen all them types as well um it's just i've seen that one i just can't remember it you see because i got stalked for a long long time i really got into these types of films and i was like oh that's weird and um yeah i can now like see ahead like i know what certain things are gonna happen and all that stuff and 
Yeah, I know all the things that can happen. I don't think I've seen that one. Um, Chris, can you remember any of the films that we've seen about stalkers? Please, because there is a few that I've not found. Let's have a look. There is, there's one, what is it? There's one about, um, <clears throat> what is it now? Uh, oh, there's that one. I wouldn't say it's like a proper stalker film. It's more of a toxic relationship film, that one. Um, but there is stalking in it. Uh, what is it now? Uh, something about next door neighbours. It's not the one I, uh, I went over before. Oh, I've seen that as well. That's a good one. You need to watch that as well. Um, what was it called? Think of the one where it's like uh, there's a friend in it and they live next door. Roommates, it's something roommates. The roommate or roommates. That one's a good one and it really does show stalking at the highest degree. That one's weird. Like. And it's also a must watch. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of um, films that show these things and I think that you will all benefit from watching these films and understanding it a little bit more than you already do. Um, that's also, I don't know whether I should say that actually because it's about someone that's famous. I'm, I'm going to leave that. Um, but to be fair, it's, I'll give you a, a, a short explanation of what I'm talking about. Um, the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard stuff. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah. I have mentioned the gift. Um... Oh, I've seen that one as well. That one's weird. I can't remember if it's stalkerish though. I've seen a lot of films. You won't believe how many films. Wait, I think I've seen that as well. Um, <clears throat> I've seen a lot of like horror films, romantic films, comedy films. I don't know what Oh, stalking films be in the category of, do you think? Could stalker films be in the category of filler or something, or horror maybe? Oh, or even drama? Know. Or maybe all three, I don't know. But... Yeah. But yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about because obviously some of you will be being stalked and you won't know that you're being stalked. But if you watch all these films and you start to, you know, understand what stalking is properly then and what it looks like and certain types of people that do it, you might notice it more and it might be safer for you. And for stalkers that already stalk, they could watch these films and they'd be like, wow, am I really like that? Do you know what I mean? It might bring some awareness. I hope it does. And it does. Um, I find it quite interesting. Because um, I'm like, what makes them focus on a person that much? Like, and... Why are they so good at it? Like, <laughs> it's hard to explain, but yeah, those those kind of questions run through my mind when I'm, you know, thinking about it. I'm like, why? 
<laughs> and um, obviously you get so, that, get so bad that they actually want to become the person that they're stalking and I'm like, why? And how, like, what? And it just, it's quite confusing as well. But I do want something from you. I want you to comment on this video um, what films you've watched um, of stalk films, obviously, and what you thought about them, um, and give your answers on what you think about the whole stuff, all the stuff. And um, also share your experiences with me because I'm really, really um, curious. Anyway. Hmm? Ratta. Wait, I mean, I'm, I'm sure that came up before. Where was it? Have I seen it? Yeah. I've seen it. I've seen that many. I can't remember half the names because I, I, I literally typed in stalker films and just watched one after the other and was like I really want to understand these people like I think I've seen that as well uh, is it um one where you see um them being stalked on loads of screens no. Um, let me look. Basically, just watch a film called Ratta. Yeah, that's the one I was on about with the screens. Yeah, they do. Yeah, and you can see them hacked into all the screens. <laughs> but yeah, there's Ratter as well. R-A-T-T-E-R. -T -T -E um, and also, if there's a film that you, that I've not pointed out, um, that you have seen about stalkers please do tell me in the comments and I will watch it <laughs> like there's people out there that watch serial killer films and programs and stuff and there, there's me watching everything about stalkers trying to understand them and yeah I can't be the only one like when you've been stalked you really do get interested in in the why and wanting to understand it and stuff like that but anyway, I'm going to leave this video where it is because I've finished talking about stalker films now and you've got a lot of films to watch. So, enjoy. Huh? What about your shadow? <laughs> anyway, that's the one that wants to become you that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button and to Lumo Fowls.